So I finished watching Bracky's How to Make a Video Game in Unity, and I've always wanted to get into game dev, so I think it's time I start making games of my own. For my first challenge, I planned on taking Bracky's game and expanding it further, but I really want to build an FPS game, so I'll save Bracky's game for another time. Let's start by creating a new project. I don't know what to call it yet, so let's just call it the gun game. So the first step is going to be figuring out how to make an FPS controller. So let's figure out how to do that. First person games are of course extremely common. So in this video we'll have a look at creating a character controller and how to make it perfectly fit your game. So thanks again to Brackies, I got a pretty good FPS controller working. I also watched a few videos on post processing just to make the environment a little nicer. So it's a pretty decent controller. You can go up ramps, you can jump off things, you can also see a shadow your bean. You can jump over obstacles. So the next thing we're going to need to add to the game is some guns. If you're curious on where I got my weapons, I picked up this low poly FPS weapon pack from the asset store. It's got loads of guns and it's relatively cheap. So I figured out if you take your gun and you parent it to the camera, it'll keep its offset from the player. So all I have to do is position the gun where it needs to be. Now we're starting to make our first steps onto a first person shooter, but it still looks really bad. And I think one of the things that inspired me from all these other YouTube game developers is that even though their graphics were simple, their game still looked really polished and fun to play. And I think that's because they added this thing called so that definitely will need to be something I focus on as well. So I think I'm going to need to add some animations so that the gun feels like it has some weight to it and that you're holding a real object. A few moments later. So I pretty much watched every video on YouTube that dealt with adding weapon sway in Unity and there were only two that I really liked. So this first one that I watched uh, kind of focused on adding this delay when you move the camera side to side. So it's kind of like the, the gun drags behind you and then it also works when you go up and down. So it's a very minor effect but it really adds a lot to the feel of the gun. And then the second one just added some tilt and rotation to the gun. So you can see when I go side to side the gun kind of tilts like uh, side to side and then also kind of works up and down as well. Um, after watching all these videos, I kind of got the hang of it, so I added when you walk, the gun kind of bobs up and down. And then you also see that it's bobbing up and down when you're staying still as well. And then um, I also tried to add some tilts when you're jumping, so you can see when you jump off things, the gun kind of tilts like down and then up. And then um, I tried to keep in mind that when you land, you have a lot of force going down. So for a quick second, you can see that the gun tilts past where it needs to be and then it comes right back up. So that just adds a little bit of effect. And then I added some aiming. And um, all of the, the effects that I've added so far, it, it works when you're aiming as well. So when you move side to side or you look side to side, the, those little delays are there and rotations are there, but they're, they're reduced a lot. And then you can also uh, jump and you have the jump animation as well. On to the next. One eternity later. Uh, to keep the environment fresh, I changed the sky to blue, and uh, here's what we got. So you can now shoot the gun, and if you fire from the hip, there's a lot of spread. But if you aim down your sights, it's a bit more focused. I'm um, also focused on the feedback again, so you have the recoil of the gun, the muzzle flash, uh, the particles when the bullets hit the ground. And um, if you notice, there's also a little bit of camera tilt. So all of these little things add to the game. <laughs> And one of the problems I kept running into every time I tested the game was I always had to force quit it. So I watched another video by Brackies and I created a pause menu. And then here you can also adjust your mouse sensitivity. If you're wondering why I keep watching all these videos instead of trying to figure out how to do everything on my own, it's because one, I'm trying to learn and two, I'm a bit broke and I could only afford three keys on my keyboard. All jokes aside, I think I'm going to end this project here. As I'm starting my game dev journey, I want to build a bunch of small games so I can learn the basic game design and game fundamentals. Then as I get better as a game developer, I'll build more fully fledged games. So if you stuck around this long, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.